Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing y'all how to change out the LED lights in my 2016 RAV4 XLE. This is going to work for anybody who has the 4th gen RAV4 and if you guys are wondering which years those are, it's going to be from 2013 to 2019. So let's get right into it. I did buy these from Walmart. They're the HyperTuff tool set. You get a 4 pack. So I had bought these lights off of Amazon and I had installed these in my fiance's car. The lights that I'm going to be using today are going to be the ones that I installed on my fiance's car and got these for her for last Christmas in 2023. I'm going to link it down below where I got these from, which they're from Amazon. So if you want, you can either use the tools that are laying around or these that I bought from Walmart. But the cool thing is too, is if you order this from Amazon and you don't want to go to the store, it actually comes with its own these little tool set. Like. So ignore these transparent lights. These are the old lights from the Honda Civic that I installed. But these are the extra lights that I had, which we're going to be using today. You can already tell the upgrade. Like, if you look... <laughs> Great. Now I lost it. So if you look at the difference, we're going from this to this and i want to let you guys know that i have never done this before in this car so this is going to be brand new to me and i'm actually going to be using both of these tools so in case you guys are wondering well what's worth getting plus let's see what's easier i'm actually recording this alone so that way in case you guys are solo creators you know there's just no excuse on making videos whether you have somebody recording for you or not so a quick before and after these are what these lights look like. And of course, I'll be showing it to you guys at nighttime as well. Starting with this yellow one first. You want to start all the way from the front, closer to the rear view mirror. You just want to put it up and just... Oh. Like I said, this is my first time doing it, so I'm going to struggle a bit. But it's also showing you guys what's gonna happen when you use this tool oh no way I'm not even lying to you guys look it broke using the one from Walmart with it's the hyper tough once again hyper tough brand as we're using so really once you pop it open the bulb is just right there and all you got to do is pull it straight out it's pretty hard because I have big hands. Yeah, so simply you just have to pull it straight down. It might be a little hard. So this is the bulb that comes out of the RAV4. I just want to show y'all once again what you're upgrading from this stock light to this one right here. It's pretty common sense. Obviously you just have to align that with what you see exactly in here. Oh, okay. So if you guys want to test it out, you can turn on your little switch on the RAV4. As you can see, this one isn't illuminating. So that can either mean one of two things. One, you didn't push it all the way in, or you simply just have to flip it around. And look, there's a difference right there already. So that one's working. And like I said, this is a really thick piece of plastic right here that Toyota made. So it's pretty sturdy and yeah, that's that's really sturdy compared to the other ones that I've seen. So you want to slide this portion in first. And then you see that this part is last. All you got to do from there is just push it up. And if you want to test it, there you go. Okay, so we got one done and now like I said using the actual tool that should work a lot better than that other one and now let's try it out okay so it seems like that's too thin I think like I guess I'm I'm do I'm figuring this out as I go so from what I can tell is that the sides is a lot 
has a bigger opening compared to over here it's very very thin and that's also why I had ended up damaging this so hopefully I'm not blocking your alls view but it's good enough to just get in there and pop it out it's gonna cause a little bit of damage so if you are somebody who's a little nitpicky about what's going on to your stuff that's that's what's going to happen but I mean normal wear and tell normal wear and tear from doing these types of projects if you like I could recommend maybe going something smaller if you want but these are just about the thinnest that I've been able to see or find so far but regardless it gets the job done so once again you gotta pull these down it's very difficult and if you have bigger hands than I do it may be harder and I have pretty big hands so as it is so once again you just need to line it up I don't think that's gonna work nope. okay so we had to flip it that should work yep you always want to test it out before you put anything back on because if it doesn't it just causes more strain for you so like I said just line it up again if you want to double check it works fine next so currently now we're gonna be working on the driver's side vanity mirror so what that entails is essentially once you slide this up once you slide it open, sorry, it's going to turn on. So what you want to do and make sure is you have it closed so that way it's not turned on. And all you got to do is stick your tool in and just pry it out. that these are a little tricky to do so proceed with caution okay so let me show you guys how this is working and how you pull it out I'm sticking this up right here and then as you can see it's closing this little portion right here so that's exactly what you have to push in that way you can get it out of the little edge right here once you put your tool up you just push that in and it should be able to pop right out and you'll see right here that's the bulb it's the same deal you just pull it straight out and replace it with the new and improved light just like always you want to test it so I have the light bulb in doesn't turn on so you just flip it around put it back how it needs to okay so I might have done something wrong or or as I mentioned earlier it's either facing the wrong way or you didn't push the light bulb in enough but it seems like right now I might have disconnected something possibly possibly disconnected disconnected something what could it be I'm not sure Is that what it was? There was no power running through? Okay, let's try it again, sorry. That's weird. I don't know how electricity works in the sense of what needs power, when it needs power. Perfect. We figured it out. <laughs> That's what it's about. 
in this life, people. Figure it out. Try it different ways. But, oh my gosh. 